Right, um, a little bit more uh, done on the wings. Uh, before I epoxy the frames in, I've uh, cut the linkages, um, the threaded uh, rod, the M2 threaded rod, um, on the flap I've done at 50mm <coughs> long, and then on the aileron I've done that at 40mm long, and obviously screwed the uh, clevises on at each end. Um, dry fitted the frame and the servo in so I roughly know how long the linkage is and stuff like that so uh, now I'm going to install the um, part of the wing harness uh, but I haven't got anything that's the longest piece of, um, of rod I've got so what I've done is I've taped a bit of cotton to the end of this which is on the reel here uh, so I'm going to feed that in here okay. uh, just fit which has um, literally just poked out there so what I'm going to do is pull the cotton from here out there and then literally uh take it off there so i've got a piece i've got a piece of cotton from that one now through there so i could take that back out now So that's pulled uh, that's pulled back out there I can now go from this one to the aileron so from the flap to the aileron because my rod is long enough to do that so right it's a bit difficult I've got the probably be easier if I left that flap down but I've got it on a on a wing stand so which uh, is usually all right to be fair so, right. there we go. Is there now? Cool. So you get what I mean. So, uh, right. I will uh, show you the next bit in a second. Right. Uh, so what I did was feed the uh, rod from the flap hole up to the aileron hole um, <clears throat> take the take the end of the cotton to the app literally pulled it back through here to give it back up here uh, now I've took the end off of the uh, the 1200 lead uh, remove that literally pull the um, you pull the little black tabs up and pull the pull the black tabs up and then pull the pull the cable out to release the ends of there. I've then take the cable uh, the cotton onto that end there. So I'm going to literally pull that through. which is now here so I'm going to do the same now that's through here I'm going to do the same with the next lead which is that one there so do the same with that one and pull that through so now I should have both ends here right and I'll show you after that I'll do that I'm literally going to repeat the same as that pull there and pull them both through there Right after a bit of uh, well, after a bit of wiggling, it uh, I managed to get them through. Uh, as you can see, there they are through there. Uh, what I did was plug the servos back onto the um, 
onto the ends just in case so you can literally pull them back through but obviously uh, when it comes to soldering this end with them connected you can pull them back through and then obviously pull them back back out once you've got these ends connected so obviously you can get them obviously look you can pull them out to give yourself some room away from your model um, uh, with them still connected uh, but once um, they're soldered up and I've got the frames in I'm happy with the servo uh, servo test them and move them make sure everything's working fine probably test it with the radio make sure that's fine um, I will then um, put some heat shrink um, round the connector literally take them apart put some heat shrink on connect them up and then heat them up and then they'll then I'll know then they're not going to come apart so uh, right and uh, I'll move on to this end now and uh, I'll show you um, soldering this up and obviously they they're, they're going to want to be exactly the same uh, on both sides of the wings and obviously corresponding both sides um, of the fuselage <laughs> 